In the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind, character Roy Neary becomes obsessed with a vision, plagues his mind, his dreams, even sculpts it in his mashed potatoes. In real life, a California horseshoer named Randy Spears also had a vision. It plagued his mind and his dreams. And as sightings correspondent Carla Wold reports, when Randy pursued his vision, something very strange happened. <laughs> The spectacular Sierra Nevada range extends almost the entire length of California. These are mountains of unparalleled beauty. Along its rugged trails, you can easily find yourself lost in thought, or as even experienced hikers know, just plain lost. I love the mountains. I also love waterfalls and lakes. And I like to sometimes be by myself. Millie McGregor has been hiking and camping in these Sierras for much of her life. On the morning of September 4th, 1995, she set off on a simple day hike. She told her husband she'd be home before dark. She wasn't. After I was on the trail for several hours, I, I got, I started having chest pain. Millie was dizzy and disoriented. She lost the trail and couldn't find her way down the mountain. The places I was going, would, would, they would run out or they'd come into a, a big high canyon. It was real rough terrain. Millie's spirits and her water supply were running low. She was tired, frightened, and cold. When day turned to night, the temperature dropped below freezing. For search and rescue teams, it was a race against time. How extensive was the search? There were about 100 people involved. Uh, mostly volunteer units. There were about 50 mounted units, and the rest were foot units, motorcycle, tricycle, and dogs. After three bone-chilling nights, Millie was still missing. Search helicopters were equipped with infrared radar, but hope for her survival was dwindling. Millie's husband feared the worst. Take the three days and nights up there, I was just about ready to give her up, yeah. On day three, over 100 miles outside the search area, horseshoer Randy Spears had a strange, haunting vision he did not understand. I just kind of flashed on search and rescue and uh, kind of pictured a hillside. And for some reason, my hand was in front of it. I was basically pointing, but I had my whole hand up. It wasn't until he got home that Randy learned of Millie's disappearance. His wife, Shelly, helped Randy in his search for the mountaintop in his vision. When I looked on the map, it just kind of all came back to me, that, that hillside, and it just struck me right then that I knew right where she was. So uh, I just kind of decided I had to go. What did Randy say to you when he came home? He told me it was somebody's grandma, and she was very cold, and she needed to be found and he knew who she was, and they were wasting time. It wasn't just a nagging feeling. Randy dropped everything to pursue his vision. I generally don't like to skip out of work, but it, it, uh, it was strong enough that I, you know, I just canceled everything and went. Randy felt he had a job to do and convinced yeah. his best friend, Frank Smith, to join him in his quest. At 1.30 in the morning, they set off to find a woman they had never met. As we approached the area where the search party was taking place, it's like he just, you could see the excitement on his face or the seriousness, I don't know how to describe it, but he goes, that's where she is. She's on that hillside, she's on that mountain. And he, and he held his hand up and he goes, I don't know why I'm doing this, but behind his ring finger is on that mountain is where he said she was. At dawn, Randy and Frank saddled up their mules and rode to the rescue station. Randy revealed his vision to James Marks. Oh, I was a little taken aback just because, I mean, here we all are, 100 people. We've been there for three days, and here comes someone who just says, I'm, I'm very, very determined, saying, I know right where she's at, and I'm going to go get her. Did he actually point out to you where he thought he'd find Mildred? Oh, exactly. He pointed right to the site kind of framed it, framed it in with his hands, and he said, she's right up on top of that mountain. Was there any doubt in your mind that you were going to find Mildred? No doubt. No doubt. Absolutely not. They didn't have the same map that Randy had. <laughs> All the way up the mountain, Randy never wavered from his mysterious internal map. Something was just pushing me the whole way. It was like I was chosen to go 
Incredibly, Millie McGregor, exhausted and close to dehydration, was also being drawn to the top of the mountain. I don't know how much longer, you know, that I'm going to be able to do this, so I thought, I, I had a notion when I got to the top, for some reason I thought there would be somebody there. How long was it that you were sitting there before you saw this mirage coming towards you, these, these two I men on the I think it was more than five minutes. I couldn't believe her. She just walked right out, you know, we just run right into each other. Randy signaled to Frank that his vision quest was over. Billy was finally in safe hands. Rescue 6, affirmative she was just brought into camp by one of the horse teams. He's in good shape and that uh, everything this has got a happy ending. As they rode into the search area, uh, everyone just kind of looked at them and they were stunned. I don't think they could believe that he actually had them. Millie was escorted to a waiting ambulance. Her heroes disappeared before Millie's family could thank them. I feel very well and very thankful. You give me back my wife. You know, what can you say to a fella to uh, give, give your partner back to you? you know? Thanks doesn't seem to be enough. Excited? Oh yeah, very excited. I accompanied Millie and Jim on a trip back to Northern California so they could thank the man whose vision had saved Millie's life. Look who's here. Hi. How are we doing? Oh, God, you're doing great. You are the one that let your crazy husband come. We were just talking about last night. I don't even think that I would encourage my husband to go. Yeah. Well, I have no choice. <laughs> yeah, so Frank, head up, smile. She must be to be a special lady or something, whatever it was. It's mighty powerful, you know. That's all I can figure. The whole uh, experience is one that you certainly never forget. It's like sometimes in your life things happen that change you and you will never be quite the same again. Mildred McGregor also told Carnal Bull that she wants to start hiking again, but she's made a promise to her family that she won't go hiking alone. Next, it's called HARP, and one of the things it's designed to do is burn holes in the ionosphere. We're worried about the ozone layer. The ozone layer is nothing compared to what HARP can do. 